Hey everybody, alright, so today we are going to be doing a new campaign. We're going to uh, go with one of the new factions uh, for the newest DLC, The Hunter and the Beast. We're going to do an Eye of the Vortex, I am and Tyrion. we are going to go Mary. ahead with Marcus Wolfhart. Never waver. So, uh, he is <clears throat> the Hunts Marshal of the Empire, uh, and he specializes in, in beast hunting, ranged units, all that. Um, you can see here, uh, it's, it's really, it's a really unique campaign. Uh, he does have a limited roster. He gains more and more, uh, units and buildings as he gains, uh, I believe it's called prestige. We'll see when we enter the campaign. Um, he gains reinforcements from the empire. Uh, and we'll go over all these, um, as we get into the campaign. It's easier to explain once you see the UI. Uh, but he does have a recruit rank plus three for huntsman generals. That's the new lord type for the empire. Uh, obviously, if he's going to be fighting beasts in the jungles of Lustre, he's going to have negative diplomatic relations with uh, Lizardmen. He does have increased ambush success and defense chance of 50%, so that's a lot. And he has a 50% upkeep reduction for archers and huntsmen, uh, the two new foot range units for the Empire. Uh, huntsmen here, as you see, anti-large. They do have vanguard and stock. Um, they can also fire while moving, so they are good uh, skirmishing units. Archers here are just good um, anti-archer archers. They actually uh, are very good. Since they're in loose formation, they're very good at skirmishing with other arching, archer units. And he starts with a war wagon. Um, this war wagon, there's three different types of war wagon. Uh, the regular war wagon, the war wagon mortar, and um, the regiment of renown war wagon, which has a... Uh, Hellblaster volley gun on it. Uh, this unit, the war wagon, um, it does have high armor. It does do armor piercing. It does fire while moving. Uh, so it's 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 a nice kiting unit, but could also be used as a, a chariot. So let's start the campaign. The jungle continent of Lustria lies west across the great ocean. The first men to land upon these shores ransacked an ancient temple, filling their ships with golden treasures. Word spread of their wealth, and others were eager to follow. Fueled by greed, men of the Empire venture deeper into the jungle's heart. The land of beasts, ravaged and plundered for its riches. It will not be without consequence. The jungle stirs. A cold-blooded fury rising to punish the invaders. In the temple cities of Lustria, the lizard men enact a ritual to call upon their mighty guardian. For the wanderer roams Lustria once more. The spirit of the jungle made manifest. A reckoning has come. Only the strongest will survive the coming bloodshed. You know you always made get tougher. Uh, you always look tougher when you have a toothpick in your mouth, so that's, that's a fact. Marcus Wolfhart has dutifully answered the Emperor's call. The Empire's Lustrian settlements have recently fallen victim to a series of savage raids from an elusive attacker. The men of the colonies have long known about the strange, upright-walking reptiles that dominate the continent, but the monstrous spirit they claim is now tormenting them threatens to bring about an end to Imperial expansion in the New World. Fortunately, untrackable. The Hunt. <clears throat>
Having voyaged across the great ocean on the Emperor's command, I shall tame this jungle-infested continent and plunder it for the treasures it holds. The near unimaginable wealth of these lands is dispatched home through the coastal colonies. But recent raids by the lizard beasts have set the Empire back, and I expect further attacks. Other enemies loom nearby. Savage orcs, no less, who raid nearby abandoned cities. These ancient places are sure to harbor more riches, so are prime locations for colonization. But we must be aware that the lizard beasts dominate these jungles. For our colonies to survive their threat, reinforcements will be needed from home. The time of opportunity is now. Lustria and its dangers await. Anything that stands before me in the hope of defeating the Empire will meet its end by my bow. It is the Emperor's will. Alright, so we also know that <clears throat> if you have a Scottish accent, you're automatically five times manlier than anyone else. So, Alright, so, quick how they play. Uh, the Emperor's Mandate. Sent to the shores of Lustria by Imperial Mandate, Marcus Wolfhard intends to protect the New World colonies from their Lustrian predators. With only limited supplies and troop numbers, as further reinforcements will not arrive from the Old World for quite some time. However, and this is what I was talking about, and this is it's going to be up here. Um, however, increasing the expedition's acclaim, here it is, it's acclaim, by raiding the jungles and expanding your territory into them will lead better quality troops dispatched in your Imperial supplies to further aid the expedition. So as you can see here, um, acclaim is a measure of how much progress the expedition makes towards fulfilling the Emperor's mandate, um, building and upgrade un ports or unlocking special characters, that is, this all increases acclaim. Um, as you go further up, you see advanced Imperial supplies, recruit rank plus two for Imperial supplies. Uh, you can uh, then unlock barracks and livery buildings. Uh, then we're further up, Hunts Marshal Elites, uh, m better Imperial Supplies again, better rank for Imperial Supplies. Uh, this one unlocks the Menagerie and Foundry buildings. Uh, this one unlocks the Engineer's Workshop. And then finally, this one uh, gives you plus four rank for Imperial Supply units, as well as the Emperor's Mandate, um, which, as you can see here, for the campaign victory, we need. So we need 100 Acclaim. So this is 100 Acclaim, Champions of the Empire. Um, we need to destroy the Spirit of the Jungle, which is Nakai. He's right here. And we need to win the Battle of Itza. So once you have 100 Acclaim and have defeated the Spirit of the Jungle, uh, I believe, as I'd, I've never played this before, but I believe uh, the Battle of Itza pops up. Um, hostility. The lands beyond the Empire are a hostile place. Your actions there will not go unnoticed by the natives. Winning offensive battles and harassing local inhabitants will increase their hostility towards you. So basically winning battles and, uh, or at least fighting battles and raiding. But also improve your standing with the Emperor and increase the rate at which Imperial Supplies reach the expedition. Cross the locals too much though and face their wrath. Uh, so <clears throat> here we go. Here's the hostility meter. Right now we will receive Imperial Supplies in four turns. And I'll show you what those look like in a second. But here you go, level one hostile. See, negative one public order. Uh, oh, hold on just a second. Sorry about that. Um, then, very hostile, negative two public order, extremely hostile, uh, plus five enemy leadership, plus 10% enemy weapon strength, minus two public order, uh, severely hostile, neg plus eight enemy leadership, plus 15 enemy weapon strength, and all, again, minus two public order, and then condemned. Um, this uh, sets off a a large stack of enemy units to come attack one of your uh, settlements. Uh, it does give the enemy plus 10 leadership, plus 25% weapon strength, and negative 5 public order to all your provinces. So uh, that's a big deal. The last thing I want to go over here, and then I'm going to cut this video off, uh, and then we'll get into the actual campaign next time. I kind of want to go over an overview, plus I have to go uh, take care of something. 
Um, Wolf's Hearts, Wolf Hearts Hunters. Scattered across the world are some of the finest hunters to have ever lived. Track them down and secure their services to complete the expedition's goals, whilst developing each hunter's unique attributes and learning of their past glories and tragedies. The beasts of this land must be removed if our colonies are to flourish. The first blow must be swift and lethal. It is vital we act quickly before these monsters can move against us. All right, so we have to capture Tlaxlan, dangerous neighbors. Hunts Marshall, there are monstrous reptiles inhabiting a settlement close by. Our colonies will struggle to survive while they threaten us. Their removal is crucial. All right, and then I'm just going to show you the hunters really quick. This is really cool. Um, <laughs> this is just, I believe, for just for Marcus Wolfhart, but this is Wolfhart's hunter. So here's one hunter, two hunter, three, four. They all have different quests on how to unlock them. Once you unlock them, uh, they also have, a. you see, they all have five quests on their quest chain for you to complete. They all have backstories, and we'll get into these more later. Um, I am going to leave these guys hidden until we unlock them, and then we can read their stories. Um, but it's really, really neat. Um, this is amazing. Uh, basically, different heroes from different races and factions in one faction. I'm kind of excited for what that means for the future of Total War Warhammer, but uh, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go get taken care of what I need to get taken care of, and then hopefully I'll see you guys back here soon. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.